Hi everybody, we are here for our last summer school lesson. We are here for week four, lesson two. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pull up the lesson in a second. We're going to go over the vocabulary words again. None of these are new, these are all review. You're gonna answer those questions. Then we're going to read the story. And while we're reading the story, we're going to answer some questions. Alrighty, let me share my screen, there we go. Okay, so everything we're doing today is pretty much the same. To answer the questions, use your voice, point to the words, annotate on your screen, or print and circle the answers, whatever works best for you. And I do move a little quickly, so right after I ask the question, pause the video if you need time to answer, okay? Okay, number one, what does it mean to move quickly? To move quickly, does that mean fast, up, or turn? Number two, higher or towards the sky? Does that mean up, move, or slow? Number three, lower or towards the ground? Does that mean around, move, or down? Number four, taking a long time to move. Does that mean up, turn, or slow? Number five, to select something. Does that mean speed, choose, or slow? Okay, number six, to go from place to place. Does that mean around, move, or down? Almost done with the vocab. Number seven, a force, this is hard, a force that pulls everything towards the ground. Is that gravity, choose, or slow? Number eight, something a person likes or enjoys doing. Is that fun, choose, or slow? Number nine, moving in a circle. Does that mean around, move, or down? Okay, I believe this is the last one. When someone is afraid, if somebody is afraid, does that mean they are choose, slow, or scared? All right, moving on to our focus question. What can you choose to buy at the amusement park? So when you're at the amusement park, do you think you can buy fast? or a keychain. Okay, we're gonna get on to our story. We are on chapter six and that is titled, Making Choices at the Gift Shop. People choose different things to do. They can be fun for some people. They can make other people feel scared. People can like different things. Okay, so why do people choose different things? So you can say your answer, circle, whatever you think. There's two answers. Why do people choose different things? Because maybe they feel scared, gift shop, or fun. Two answers. Okay, let's keep going. Gwen thought the water slide was fun. She was scared on the Ferris wheel. Gwen will ride a water slide again. She will not ride a Ferris wheel. Okay, 
So now what you're going to do is match the words to show what Jen liked and what she did not like at the amusement park. Okay, so you can draw a line or say it, whichever. What ride did Jen think was fun? Did she think the Ferris wheel was fun or the water slide? And then what was Jen scared of? Was Jen scared of the Ferris wheel or the water slide? Okay. Ben thought the roller coaster was fun, but he was scared on the water slide. Ben will ride a roller coaster again. He will not go on a water slide. Okay, so same question here. Which ride did Ben think was fun? Did he think that the roller coaster was fun or the water slide? And then which ride was Ben scared of? Was Ben scared of the roller coaster or the water slide? Okay. The family arrives at the gift shop. They see t-shirts, keychains, and magnets. The family will choose items to buy. The items will help them think about their trip. What do the kinder family see at the gift shop? So there are three answers. So you can circle them or draw lines, say them, sign them. So what does the kinder family see at the gift shop? T-shirts, magnets, down, or keychains? There are three answers. Okay. Gwen chooses to buy a t-shirt. She wants to remember the water rides. Gwen liked moving fast down the water slide. She moved slowly, floating on a tube. Okay. So what does Gwen choose to buy from the gift shop? Does she choose to buy the magnets, a t-shirt, or keychains? Ben chooses to buy a keychain. He wants to remember the roller coaster. He liked the turns and the loops on the roller coaster. Gravity helps roller coasters move. Okay, so what did Ben choose to buy? Did Ben choose to buy the magnets, t-shirts, or keychains? Jen chooses to buy a magnet. She wants to remember the Ferris wheel. Jen liked spinning in a circle on the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheels move slowly. Okay, so what did Jen choose to buy? Did she choose magnets, t-shirts, or keychains? The family learned a lot at the amusement park. People can choose different things to do. People and objects move at the amusement park. They can move up, down, and spin around. And that is the end of our story. Okay, so we reviewed 10 different vocabulary words. We read our story again, and we answered five, maybe more questions about the story, some comprehension questions. Okay, good, good job, everybody. This was our last class, our last session. Okay, I hope you all have a wonderful summer, and I miss you so much. Bye, everybody.